No matter what sport you're doing, it's always good to check your equipment and make sure it's safe and in good condition before you go ride, especially with the scooters. Make sure that your hinged area is connected well, fastened tightly, and your locks are in place. Your head has your brains in it, and that's your most important asset. Always check your wheels. Make sure they're spinning freely. You have no debris caught up in your bearings. I was hoping to shoot across, but I would have got ran over. It's good to have your, your bars locked in securely. Make sure they're good. And then always check your handlebar clips right here. Make sure you're locked in really good. Nothing's coming loose before you go out and ride. Make sure that they're a good height for you to have good control. You don't want them too high if you're a small kid. Definitely watch out for angry moms with shopping carts and uh, sport utilities. Let's go for a ride. Scooters everywhere, whole families of them. Especially the grommets and people smiling and, yeah, what's with it? They just took over about a year ago. Um, so make sure you wear a nice bicycle or motocross glove. If you don't have that, your mom's gloves will work for gardening. As you can see, I didn't have my elbow pads on. Took a little fall there. Wish I had my elbow pads on. Uh, I haven't personally seen any head injuries in scooters. Wish I had my elbow pads on. What do I think about of adults riding scooters? Well... What should Jumping on your scoot to get to where you need to go, it adds a little bright spot to your day, and sometimes it's a little release at the end of the day. As far as these uh, scooter duders, as I call them, go, I think it's good if whatever gets kids outside. I haven't seen any negative you know, vibes at all. Everybody's stoked on the scooter. Other than that, make sure you're having a good time on it.